So here's, what, here's what's going on is that at any time where that shoulder is in, anterior in the socket, mm -hmm. in the front of the socket up, and right now, you know, Mark is laying on a scapula and I get my hand between the head of his shoulder and the, and the ground, right. Right? right? The further he can get this shoulder to the back of the ground, the more effectively he's going to have a, more leverage, leverage right? Leverage advantage. And look at how much larger his pec and much more mechanical advantage. Right. So now he's just shifted up and over, which is, uh, you know, in fair due, your setup would be super tight mm -hmm. and, the, and the shirt would keep you there. But go ahead and push up and over that scapula for me. So just push to that corner with your whole body. Just kind of slip mm -hmm. over your scapula. Mm -hmm. So just slip like your whole like body. Like you're trying to arch on the bench. Yeah, but just put that there scapula blocks, right? So now, in this position, mm -hmm. you know, you can see that as, as he comes up, what ends up happening mm -hmm. is that he loses that, some of that right. position, right? And so anything that, that finished position, where's your normal bench grip? Right about here? Somewhere there, yeah. Somewhere, right about there. Mm -hmm. What we want to do is be able to, you're at the limits, because if you go any narrower than that, you start to lose some of that right. efficiency. Right. Push here. you got to push there to finish. Yeah. So the more that we can get that shoulder to the back of the socket, then we can improve the efficiency There's of that scat, yeah. right? And now, now we've got the, the shoulder can lock off, the external rotators mm -hmm. can do its job, and then pet can just do its job. So, you know, for you, for a, as a training partner, I just load up and then just lay on that thing, mm -hmm. right? And you can see how he internally rotates okay. well before 90, mm -hmm. right? So in 90 degrees, this is the, look how much resistance is out into that pec, all the right. way to here and through that shoulder system. Mm -hmm. And then if I actually just start to get him into straight up and down, yeah. and it's not just soft tissue pushing in, that's just joint capsule, there's a ton of resistance. And look where his normal, he's totally internally rotated. Mm -hmm. And so look, in order for him to get strong and to be into a strong, excellent rotated position, mm -hmm. This internal rotation also shortens the position of the pec. Mm -hmm. And it's this extra rotation that lengthens and puts that whole system under kind of a better length tension relationship. So here, if I just hang out, actually rotate him into a good position, mm -hmm. and then just hang, and then he can actually rotate, you just actually rotate through that, and I'll follow you through, right? And you just, and I'll follow you through. So I just load you up, take you in, extra rotate, relax. You just actually want to take? Will you do about two minutes of this? Yeah, it takes okay. two minutes at least to make change or until mm -hmm. he feels like I'm burning and I can't take it, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. But it's going to be, you know, it's going to take that long to be able to get that stretch. And if you, if you take this into like the average person mm -hmm. trying to do the swimmer stretch, mm -hmm. they're just impinging the bejesus right, out of themselves. Right, what right. we mean to do is set the shoulder in the socket mm -hmm. and then stretch the posterior right. capsule. And that's really what's going on here is that we're able to kind of stretch that posterior capsule. Mm -hmm. And then if we loaded this up with some distraction, <laughs> Let's get some big distraction on here. Yeah! Mm -hmm. Okay? And then, do the same thing. I know that hurts you, but you're too tough to even mention it, right? Now, that gave me a lot more room, that capsule, because mm -hmm. that lateral part of the capsule is being pulled out. So I just load here, and you actually rotate. Like the kettlebell, but mm -hmm. probably that's what you were looking for before. Right. A little bit beefier. Right. Right? And then, we'll come out of that for a second. Yep. Right? And then set that shoulder up where you want. And then just feel, go ahead and check the extra rotation relative to the other side. One feel different than the other? Yeah, I feel definitely feel different than the other. This side I got it like almost. That's right. Yeah, yeah. It's and, and it's extra rotate. It's rotate you're basically the yeah. in the anterior. Yeah. And now that you've taken all that slack we should have here, and, and now you had to be, yeah, you had to be anterior, and then you lost your mechanical advantage trying yeah. to reclaim that position. All right, because every time I bench, when I bench heavy, when I get like up over like 550, I not only have to I not, not only have to push it, you know, to here, but my shoulder comes on like unscrewed basically from the bench, and I got to go like this. Yeah, and that's it not puts good. all that tension on the no, back. No, no, no that's uh -uh. to answer your translation. That's gonna destroy the shoulder. Feel that exactly. pivot right there. That's right. There's your pivot yeah. tear, right? Yeah, it'll it'll, it'll completely. See, what he's supposed to be doing? Before. What he's supposed to be doing is wedging shortened. under the bar at that point yeah. oh, by okay. having a uh, posterior load, so it's like here. And it's like, wedge. Yes. That's how you're supposed yeah. to bench. Yeah. Like that. Kink. There's yeah. that external rotation right. out. Boom. Just like that. You, put, you push down into the bench and just wedge under the weight, arms locked. You never want to hear and push. Right. right. Yeah. Second and that's you get what off he, that bench. And this, and this is what, I mean, this is the last piece, that corner for you, is that your capsule's restricting you and you you can't get the lockout. Right. You've, you've only got a loose capsule position and that's your mechanical advantage. Right. Makes a lockout that much harder. It hurts but the back of my shoulder and my pec at the right. same time. Yeah. I think I think if you just had someone lay on you before that, and you just did right. that, and you, distraction, no distraction, mm -hmm. just get one of your friends lay on your stomach, and then you just actually rotate, okay. and you're gonna be like, fuck. And again, the back. weight the weight isn't a huge deal on this. Well, you know, so you know if, if you load it up, if you just kind of 
did like 50% mm -hmm. load, 100% load. Mm -hmm. The main thing is, you know, you'll feel when you're the back of the that capsule, when that good. capsule stretch. Definitely felt a lot better. And it's, it's just as simple. And this is just the capsule piece, like, you right. know. And then, you know, coupled with the fact that we were talking about the thoracic spine, you know, that you're, you're being stuck here. We were talking, you know, the other day about, um, you know, the, the difference between being able to extend through the upper back mm -hmm. and yeah. having upper back so, tilt happen. Right. And then if you have rib cage tilt, you literally cannot control the shoulder right. anymore versus being able to extend, and now you still have access. So once, if you once pulling the lat in and once not. That's right. Back he laughs that's right. when I get the bed. She's like, why are you laying so flat? I'm like, yeah. this is arch. And he <laughs> won't set up properly. He's just so strong like, this is on it. his pressing movement, and he doesn't, uh, he doesn't use any leverage advantages. And his stroke, therefore, is a lot longer than it should be. He's about three or four inches longer on the stroke than he needs to be. If he would just arch and set his shoulders back, I tried. Take his air. That's an extra 300 that. foot pounds. Yeah, I also. Three have, inches times nine. I don't have a boiler either. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Someday you can have a boiler. A nuclear, yeah. nuclear power reactor boiler. But uh, you know, I, I would say that would be the piece that I would go after right. mm -hmm. and just get someone to hang out. And time under tension. You know, I mean, two minutes is the minimum dose. Right. But you stay there until you feel like that shoulder is back. And then you can put that shoulder up and go ahead and slide back up, tuck that scap again. Right? And already. I can't get my hand right, back your I shoulder in that position, no. right? So we want that option to be able to come over, and it's the same same hip. Mm -hmm. right? It's the same idea. Mm -hmm. That hip starts to come superficial, then we lose a lot of mechanical right. hands right off the bat. Awesome. Yeah, I'll force the hip to try to stay in because I know right. exactly what to do. But uh, like when the damage is done, I'm dealing with pain the whole time. Or you're yeah. just in a bad position. You can't mm -hmm. reclaim it. It's too much weight. Too you know. Once once there's a bend in your rod, dude, you know you're fucked. <laughs>